Yo, what's up my friends? Travis Peters here. Uh, taking a look today at a sales funnel and a Facebook ad campaign. We just want to help this lady out. She's starting out uh, pretty new in the game. She's got some great stuff happening here, but we're kind of at this spot where, all right, we've been running some traffic. We have some Facebook ads going. Not a lot of people are buying. We made a couple sales, but nothing's popping. What's up? Why not? Let's check it out. So here we are. I pulled up her her uh, ClickFunnels page here, her funnel, and this is page one. And I'm going to go through some of this to show you what's going on, and we're going to dissect some things, and I'm going to show you how to sell this. All right? I know what to do. So this is all good. This is all great. Your skin cream can't solve this, this. Introducing, probably say it wrong, gua sha, a smooth, flat stone for face massage. Now, she has created this herself. This is not a drop shipping product. Uh, this is something she's passionate about. She has went and she has made her own design here. Uh, it's, very in, it's very genius what she has done. Added her cool branding, rock ritual, centuries old technique from China used for face and body massage. Works with the body's own healing and renewal process etc etc solves these problems expression lines puffiness dull skin is it complicated to learn no because now there's a complete system based on the ancient study the ancient technique yes i want healthy skin here's the kit it's beautiful it comes with all these things i'm pumped here is what is inside but that's not all we got some bonuses it's a beautiful deal she's got we call this the stack Here's the offer stack. Great job. Risk-free, money-back guarantee. These are all awesome things. Uh, it's a nice long sales page, which is awesome. It needs to be. So we're going to start talking here. I've got a couple things uh, to bring up and show you guys. First off, let's talk about what's happening overall. The price point here of $78 at the launch sale. Now, $78 overall for this product is actually a great value. I think if you read this, look at it, you would see that. However, her traffic, her people are going to be coming in from Facebook, right? I'll sketch this out a little bit here for you. All right, so we got your Facebook, Instagram too. Facebook and Instagram are gonna be where her traffic is coming from. Now, here's where the problem in lies. People on Facebook and Instagram, especially Instagram, they're only gonna be on their phones. Yes, they might check it a lot, but the amount of time that they're on there, I, I don't have the exact numbers with me. Instagram's really short. Um, We'll just say eight to 12 minutes. There might be some cases where it's 20 minutes or so. But just on average, think about it. You're cruising Facebook, you're cruising Instagram. What are you doing? You're usually waiting for something. You're waiting in line or during commercial, or you're going to the bathroom. You don't have a lot of time when you're cruising these things. And so what's happening is you're gonna run your Facebook ad. We call this interruption marketing, Right, most of you guys know this. This is interruption marketing because we're interrupting what they're currently doing. They're not on Facebook to buy something, they're on Facebook to be casual, to chill, to be entertained. We interrupt their thinking with our product, our ad, our service, our offer. All right, it's a different type of marketing than if somebody was Googling gua sha Chinese stone face facial massage technique. That's a different type of person, a different type of buyer, and you market to them different. So, Facebook and Instagram, interruption marketing. Here's what you have to do. See, the, the problem with the price point is that you're going, this is what we call cold traffic. They don't know who you are yet, all right? Cold traffic, and you're trying to get them to part with $78. This is a somewhat of a higher ticket situation. And this type of marketing, interruption marketing, to get a cold stranger to go from zero to 78 is tricky. I don't, it's not possible, but it's, it's close. It's tough to get them to do that. Now, if we can get this price point down, 
she's got a much higher chance of closing the sale on the first hit. We call this direct response marketing. So the other way to look at it would be if you're going to sell a $78 product it is they might need to follow you on YouTube. You might, if you're an Instagram influencer and they've been hanging out with you for months and you've been giving them a ton of value, um, you've, they've bought smaller things from you and it worked. They have seen a ton of testimonials over and over and over again. There's usually what we call, uh, it's, it's technically higher than this, but the rule of eight basically says someone's going to need to interact with you and your brand a minimum of eight times before they will pull the trigger on anything. So keep that in mind. All right. So now taught you that let's hop back over here to the funnel real quick. And let's think about this. So a couple little tech things. We need to get that countdown going. Here is the other part is you want to use urgency. You want to use countdowns. This is a good thing, especially, like I said, when we're doing interruption marketing coming from Facebook or Instagram. In your ad itself, and we'll look at her ad too, but in the ad, you want to have urgency or in other words, a reason to buy now. Reason to buy now. If I'm only going to get their attention for 12 minutes, I got to give them a reason to buy in those 12 minutes. They can't come back later. The thought that they'll save it, bookmark it, and come back later rarely, rarely, rarely happens. Don't count on it, all right? Give them a reason to buy right now. So we can do that through you know, the launch sale. The price, price doubles. Price goes up. Price is doubling in. Price doubles. And then you got the countdown. And what I do in ClickFunnels, I create a, a sticky bar. If you guys are familiar with ClickFunnels, it's the best. It's super easy. I create a sticky bar at the top and then put the countdown and some text that's like, hey, hurry. Price is doubling. And then what I do is I make it sticky. And what that means is you make this little sticky bar at the top. It will follow people as they scroll down. It'll stay to the top of the screen up here. As they scroll, so everywhere they go, it's blaring in their face. Hey, price is going up. Price is going up. Hurry. Something to that effect, right? Price is going up. Now, here's the, the main super fun part I wanted to get to. Is Actually, let's do this first. Um, I've got her ad pulled up. This is what's running to Facebook. And now there's so many different groups and audiences you can run ads to and that makes a huge difference knowing your audience makes a huge difference but there's a couple of things that we can do that applies to any marketing situation that you're in and this is going to be your sales copy so the couple couple of like key elements we have to have here to get people to click is you want a little bit of curiosity one of the main reasons is when we watch her ad here And it's great, it's put together well, professionally made, ancient technique called gua sha, these things. Relaxes tense face muscles to reduce expression lines and boost circulation. So like, like even this right here, right? To kind of get my point across, boost skin circulation up to 400%. Now, I'm not the target audience, but even if I was, I need to know why. Why does that matter to me and some things? Boost skin circulation up to 400%. What I want you to do, and you guys can write this down, and a lot of, basically everything you do from now on, I want you to do what's called the so that benefits. And all that simply means is, hey, this tool will boost skin circulation up to 400% so that Blah, 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 blah. So that what's in it for them. All right, fill in the blank. So that and what's in it for them. And it needs to be something better than, um, it needs to create an emotion. Uh, so it, it can't be something as simple like it boosts skin circulation up to 400% so that you have less lines on your skin. That's one thing. But you can go a level deeper. So what happens when you don't have lines and wrinkles? 
your confidence goes up. Your, you have more confidence to go talk to that stranger, go talk to that guy, try to holler at him, whatever, right? You see what I'm saying? This will boost skin circulation up to 400% so that the lines disappear and you ha finally have the confidence to wear that dress that's been sitting in your closet for the last three months, right? Things like that is what I'm trying to get you to see. Now, the second part of this, and you have to do, you have to figure this out for your marketing. Take the time to do this. All right, so she's writing here and saying this ancient beauty secret is a natural way to ease expression lines, reduce puffiness, and boost glow in just minutes a day. It puts the power of healthy skin in your own hands using the gifts of nature. Now, that sales copy, though not horrible, it also sounds like everybody else. So what's happened here is her product has become a commodity. It's just another cereal box on the shelf. And so what we have to do as marketers, if you want to sell your stuff, is you got to figure out how to make your product feel like a new opportunity that they've never heard of before or has never been presented to them before. You basically, you got to pull out the special in your thing. And here's how we do that. So let me give you a for instance. Um, in here, there's some things like, how does it work? So, uh, made of pure obsidian. All right. So she was telling me about, you know, again, I'm not in this market. So you guys might know what obsidian is, but you don't want to assume in marketing. You don't want to assume you don't want to assume your market knows some of these techno terms. Techno babble is what we call it. So look at it like this. This made of pure obsidian, right? Turns out obsidian is like made from volcanic ash it's 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 made it's only found in certain parts of the world uh it's, there's a process that goes to it it's a very beautiful stone it's got all these healing and health benefits to it so what you have to do in your sales copy is you have to make it feel like hey consumer person reading this the reason you have not got results yet the reason you still have uh wrinkles and expression lines and crow's feet the reason you still have those things is because the treatments you're using don't have obsidian, right? They don't have this special, almost unheard of material that is found only in three parts of the world made, uh, made from 100% pure volcanic ash that from an eruption that was 3,000 years ago and can't be replicated again. Something like that, right? That's, I'm spitballing, guys, but what I want you to do is see, see the principles here. I want you to extract this. So in here in her ad copy, he's talking about this ancient beauty secret, but man, we gotta take that to another level. So if we come in here and we start, we start, um, we come up with something like, have you tried everything to get rid of those? Use better words than, than wrinkle lines. Uh, uh, as, a, as a copywriter, as a marketer, you're getting, you've got to know your audience. So whatever terms they use, that's what I would put here. If crow's feet's the biggest one, wrinkle lines, expression lines, you know this better than me, but whatever that answer is, that's what you put here. The most painful thing to them, all right? What we want to do is we just want to convey that – the vehicle they're using to get that result, it doesn't work. You've been trying that vehicle. You've been driving that car. What you need is a helicopter. <laughs> I've got the vehicle. I've got the helicopter, and it's made of obsidian, right? There's a little known rock. Made from volcanic ash. If this is true, I'd like to add, add some sales copy that says something like, um, it would add some scarcity to the product. I want to I want to convey a sense of like, this is made from volcanic ash, and guess what? There's only a limited amount of it. 
Like volcanic volcanoes are not erupting every single day for where we get this. All right. Like we like like uh, maybe this is gathered. I'd have to know more about the product, but I want it to be something like uh, this is from a this is from a uh, volcanic site uh, near ancient Greece that erupted in the year 500 BC. And we used the stone and the rock and the obsidian from that site. And so, as you know, there's only a limited amount that we could harvest from that site, right? Again, I'm spitballing here. I would polish it up, but I want to convey that. I want it to feel like this thing is so special. The reason you haven't gotten results in the past is because you haven't tried this. And that's another thing to remember. Almost every single one of your clients or, or people who are going to buy have been trying stuff. They've bought stuff at Walgreens. They've bought stuff at Walmart. They've tried to fix this problem with other things, but it hasn't worked. So what you're going to do is come in and let them know that your opportunity is going to work. And we do a lot of that through our sales copy. I want it over here on the on the funnel as well, but we got to get some clicks from your ad first, right? So we can do something like this. Um, pretend I started a new ad. Uh, you can use some hooks. We just want to hook people. Um, let's think there'd be a, uh, I'll try some things like this over 3000 years ago, an ancient volcano erupted for the final time. If you could put a story into this of how this, how of of how obsidian, you can probably just Google it, of how obsidian was discovered and then how they discovered the health benefits to it. But put that in here, but write it in a, a curiosity-based way. So we want to feel like, and, now, and again, obsidian might not be the, the magic ingredient. I'm just pulling this out based off this quick little commercial I've seen, but you got to figure out what it is for you, for your business. Whoever's watching this, whatever company you're trying to market for, you got to figure that out. What's this this magic gold thing I can extract and highlight and make it feel like oh if I'm a, I'm a if I'm a customer it's gonna be like oh it didn't work for me because I didn't have obsidian I was using blah 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 this whole time it's got to be obsidian okay so that's that that's where we got to take this I'm just making this up guys if I put some more time into it we can figure it out but that's where I want you to go with this now. Let's head back over here to the magic whiteboard. So here's here's what we're looking at. $78 for this kit. But based off the clues that we've talked about, going from cold traffic, asking a stranger to part with $78 is a big ask, right? Okay, that's a big ask. It's going to be very, very difficult to do so. The... Other thing is that the market we're, we're going after is only going to be on their phone for 8 to 12 minutes. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt and even say 15 minutes. Let's say that they had already cruised Facebook for 10 minutes before they clicked your ad. Now they've only got – you've only got about five minutes left with them on that particular span of time that you have their attention. Again, to ask for $78 is a big ask. So what if you did this? And I've done this before with many companies over and over and over again. Uh, in particular, we did it with a hot sauce company, and the results were phenomenal. What if we did this? What if we took one product here? Let's say the main product, the Obsidian Gua Sha and Velvet Pouch. What if we pulled it out and we ran an ad that did all those things I was talking about and basically shows that there is a secret ingredient from a 3,000 year old volcanic eruption that nobody else has and the things it's doing to people's faces is miraculous. In fact, we believe in it so much, we want you to try it for free. We went ahead and paid for all the product. If you'll just help us cover shipping, we'll send you a free sample. All right, we call this the free plus shipping model. And this is how it works. We, we just use that sales copy I just spoke about. 
and they go from the ad and they go to your landing page. We just saw the landing page over here. It's really long, which is great. It needs to be. And down here, we're going to offer for $8.95. Right, this is great because it is actually a $37 value. We're going to offer it right now for $8.95 just cover the shipping now here's where here, here's where it gets fun because i know if you're watching this and you've got an e-commerce product you're freaking out right now because you're saying man the cost of acquisition to get people to come from my ad and to go to this uh landing page and not pay me the 78 dollars that's tough I, i'm gonna lose money trav what are we doing here this makes no sense no you're not you're actually gonna make a lot of money and here's why you're using all this long sales copy, you're crushing the game, doing all the stuff, and then it's only $8.95. We believe in it so much, we just want you to try it, we paid for the product, you just help us cover shipping, we'll get it out to you right away. All right, you're actually gonna have a pretty high take rate on this. The second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add what's called an order bump. And what this looks like, you can do it super easy in ClickFunnels, at your checkout page, you can add this little bonus bump there's a little checkbox and with just a click of a button it's placed in the psychological psychologically advantage place you know what i mean um you can add a little bonus imagine it's kind of the equivalent of going to check out at the grocery store and they got that rack of all the candy and the gum right in front of you all right this is that's an order bump in a physical location this is an order bump in a digital location what we're going to do here is we're going to take this quick reference guide. I think we should call it something else, something a little sexier, like a cheat sheet or something. But we're going to give this cheat sheet, which will take all the guesswork out. Use that phrase. That's a good one. Removes all guesswork. Removes guesswork. And it's just going to be... Go ahead and add it to your order for seven bucks. And you're gonna write some sales copy here. You can make it sound irresistible. They basically have to get this cheat sheet. It is too good to be true. It'll show you how to blend and, and do whatever, no matter your skin tone or no matter your current skin condition, whether you're this, that, this, that, we're gonna show you what to do. Add it to your order right now for seven bucks. Here's what's cool. This is going to be a digital product. You could even probably, you could even probably make it a size of 17 bucks. That's what we did on ours. Uh, 17 bucks, but this is going to be digital. It's like a digital ebook. We'll just deliver it via PDF, via email. Here's why that matters. When you're doing e-commerce, you need to do everything you can to get your margins up. All right, margins are going to be razor thin in most cases. Once you've uh, once you've added in your your ad spend on Facebook and Instagram, so your cut cost to acquire a customer plus your physical product, plus your shipping, usually margins are pretty rough. You need to add a digital bump because that $17 is pure profit. All right, so imagine, here's what happens now. After they have gotten past this, they've entered their, they enter their credit card here at the bottom, they've made the purchase, either they picked the bump or they didn't, doesn't matter, I think you'll have a high bump chance. Here's what you're gonna do on the next page. With e-commerce, as weird as it sounds, it's basically a law. What you need to do is you need to double their order on the next page. So you're going to offer a two-pack. It always sounds weird. Again, we call this a one-time offer. It's only available here, and there's a discount percentage off when you buy right now. Countdowns at the top. Talk about putting countdowns up here, top of your page. Again, use ClickFunnels. They make this so easy. There's magic in a sales funnel. I've lived it out myself many, many, many times over the years and for many of my clients. It just works, guys. So give them the one-time opportunity to order the double pack of this. Give one to a friend. Give one to, you know, makes a perfect gift to give to your daughter, your sister, your mother, whatever. Mother Day is, is coming up. Get one for her. Now. What you're going to do on the next page 
is you are going to offer to add on. You can go two ways here. Here's, here's probably what I would do. I would offer to upgrade to the full bundle. You can mess with the bundle, like what comes in there, but upgrade to the big bundle. It's normally $78. If you do it right now, it is $58, $57. Upgrade to the bundle. And then we'll do a down sell for the Power Trio face oil. And then the very last page that says thanks would be monthly subscription. So everybody ends up here. Thanks for your order. Subscribe monthly because you do not want to run out. It's only 57 a month. Cancel anytime. Money back guarantee. Yada, yada. So we ran this exact funnel for a hot sauce company. And the sales went through the roof. It took them a minute. I know if you're watching this, you've never tried anything like this before. There's going to be a little bit of, I don't know, Trav. I'm telling you, it works when you do this correctly. When you get your sales copy right, when you get your offers right, it works, guys. Okay? So uh, what we did for the hot sauce is we said, hey, man, this new flavor. And we, we played into the, the fanatics, right, the chili heads. You just want to, want to test themselves to see if they can handle the hottest of hots, right? So we did a little quiz through a chat bot and we delivered it to them and we said, hey, uh, we believe in this so much. We know it's gonna be so hot, too hot for you to handle. We want you to try it for free. We paid for the hot sauce. You just help us cover shipping and boom, we'll send you a bottle right away. Guys, I remember they made uh, 500 bucks in just a couple hours. And then by the end of the um, 10th, and then it was like, I think in the first 60 days, they did, did $10,000 in sales which was big for them. They had a very low ad spend budget at first, and then they'd only been selling through farmer's markets. So the more that they could spend in ads, the more sales they were making. And what we were doing is we were, we were doubling orders. We were upgrading to bundle packs. We even offered, uh, we actually had three OTOs, three one-time offers, three upsells. We offered a secret sauce. It's literally not available on the website, only available now. Uh, we call it the death sauce, and it was made up of nearly 100% Carolina Reapers, Guinness Book Records, Hottest Peppers, only available now, barely legal, buy it right now. And we had a 40% take rate on that page, which is giant for a uh, three-step order bump or a three-step funnel, upsell funnel. And then we ended on a subscription, and you could get hot sauce sent to your doorstep every 60 days. And so how this funnel works, guys is by offering a free plus shipping offer, it's free to pay shipping, you're gonna have a really high conversion rate. So uh, on the hot sauce, we had about a 35% conversion rate, maybe even higher. Uh, I think overall for like a year, about 35%. Then from here, uh, the order bump was really high too. Uh, I've seen some of our order bumps has performed as high as 70%, but even if you can get 20% of the people to take the bump, you're crushing the game. In the hot sauce world, we did a recipe guide, a pairing guide. Hey, these hot sauces go best with these types of food. So we had a huge uptake right there. Okay. The other way you could do this, um, you know what, for this particular one, here's actually what I would try. I would take this, the Power Trio face oil, and I would put it in the bump also. Again, we test. We're marketers. We test. But I would do, you get the face oil plus the cheat sheet for 27, probably do 27 bucks at this point, maybe 17, 20, test a couple price points. All right, just test, just test. Test $17, if it works well, the next week, move it up to 27 bucks, okay? Start low and raise it up, no biggie. Double the order, upgrade to the bundle, and then go to subscription. Now, you don't need to do subscription to start, but... There's going to be a percentage of everything. So 35% of people take this, 20% of the people take this, 10% take this, 5% take this, and 2%. These are what we saw in the hot sauce funnel was 2% would take the subscription. That's great. That's just gravy. That's just extra bonus money. 
So in most cases, most businesses watching this, you're going to break even right here. Your goal is not to get rich off this first page. I know it sounds weird. It's counterintuitive. It's a lesson that took me a long time to learn. Your goal is to break even and acquire a customer. You've got to acquire customers. That's the game. Acquiring leads isn't the game. Acquiring customers, people who pull out and give you money, even if it's just eight bucks. They got to do that. You have to acquire the customer because here's a law, right? A marketing law. Write this down. Second money is always easier than first money. Right? These people buy from you once, they'll buy from you again. Now that they bought from you, you've got them on email, you've got them on Facebook Messenger. Man, you let them know of new promotions. You let them know about new products. You hit them up after a while and say, hey, it's been about 45 days. Do you need some more Power Trio face oil? Hey, we just put out a new tutorial. Here it is. Right? We keep hitting them because they're going to keep buying from you. And that's the game. And you have to get that in you because it's, it's a hard pill to swallow because what we want to do is we want to run an ad and get rich that day. But this is how the game's played now. So I'm just going to recap really quick here. Is you're going to run an ad, and it's got to have, it's got to, it needs some curiosity, and it needs to feel like a new opportunity. Hey, we believe in this so much. This this ancient stone from the island of Sicily, from the volcanic ash that was 3,000 years old. Don't make it corny, but make it curiosity based. Make people feel like, ooh, I've never tried that. That sounds special. It, my thing must not be working because I don't have that, right? It's got to feel that way. In fact, and then you go in and you say, I believe in it so much. I want you to try it free. We're going to ship you out a free bottle. We already paid for the product. You just pay for the shipping, all right? Take them to the, the funnel. You're going to have some scarcity and some urgency, some countdowns. The, uh, the, the price is going up in seven hours. I usually do a low countdown on these ones. Then at the bottom, we're going to have an order bump, and then that order bump, we're going to offer some kind of cheat sheet, a digital, very attractive, very high value, digital ebook, digital product, digital cheat sheet. All right. Add this cheat sheet plus the power tree or face oil for just 17 bucks. Again, you're going to test these prices. Then on the next page, we're going to make a one-time offer, double my order, but then we're going to do another one-time offer, send them to the bundle then send them to the subscription, all right? Put all of this into place, and you are going to win. Now, here's what's cool, and here's what you got to remember, is we're not saying change your business model for the rest of your life. We're just trying to get something off the ground. We're going to try to test some things. We're going to figure out what's going to work, and this is how we do it. So let's get this launched, and let's get this into orbit. If you're watching this, do this for your own business. Find that curiosity-based hook. Give them, un, do an unboxing funnel where we unbox this thing, right? We started with a bundle and we're going to unbox it. This is just a different way to sell it. Because remember, we got cold traffic who don't know you. Asking for $78 from a stranger is tough. But you could go up to a stranger. You could talk to them. That's your sales page. You could talk to them for two minutes and get them to pay you $8.95 to try something for free. That's realistic. And then on the very next page, we're going to say, hey, while you got that, uh, man, why don't you get a second one? Makes a great gift, great stocking stuffer. Let's go crush it. Uh, get one for your mom, right? And then normally go for 37 bucks. But right now today, if you get it, it's just, an, just $17 added to your order, okay? And then take them down the line. Boom, boom. All right. So I hope that helps. Um, you're going to add scarcity and urgency. Remember, they got short attention spans. Uh, you got to come in with some curiosity, make this feel like a new opportunity. This is going to help you win, and we believe in it so much that we're just going to go ahead and give you a free sample, just cover shipping, and then adding that digital bump. With e-commerce products, you want to add a digital product in there somewhere so that you've got some big profit margins to work with, some, some cost of acquisition. If that bump, that $17 cheat sheet, that $17 of pure profit, if that can cover your ad spend, you win. And then you can scale infinitely. It's huge. If you can figure out how to cover the cost of acquisition, whew, the game gets really fun. All right. That's what we were able to do with the hot sauce. So take this, do this, implement these things, keep crushing it. I'll see you guys in the next video.